printed fact. Step up and take your friends and family to Infowars.com, PrisonPlanet.tv and PlanetInfowars.com. The truth will set them free. I don't know what it is. Ralph just won't pay any attention to me. When he comes home from work, all he ever does is play video games and go to sleep. It's like I don't even exist. Oh, Betty, that's just awful. Does this seem familiar? If the answer to this question is yes, then listen carefully. Toxic pesticides, GMO foods and additives, BPA plastics, contaminated water supplies. Many of these toxic additives are deliberately engineered to attack and weaken human masculinity. It's part of the eugenics population control movement. Look it up. If men are more interested in online gaming than they are in their wives. A serious population crisis is soon to follow. Energize the man in your life with super male vitality from InfoWarsLife.com. It's designed to aid the body in ways that help invigorate your natural systems without artificial testosterone, completely free of GMOs, harmful additives, gluten, and is made right here in the USA. Get your super male vitality right now at InfoWarsLife.com or call 1-888-253-3139. The globalists have controlled the mainstream media for a long time, but now they're expanding, making the weaponization even more vicious and deceptive. All the major networks are state-run. We are partnering this year with the NFL. The NFL has become a political weapon against the Second Amendment and pushes Obamacare. MSNBC tells us that our children belong to the state. We have to break through our kind of private idea that kids belong to their parents or kids belong to their families and recognize that kids belong to whole communities. It is more important than ever to realize that we are not the alternative media. We are the true media. The establishment dinosaur press is dying. We are in an information war, and we are losing that war. Join us at InfoWarsNews.com and PrisonPlanet.tv. Members can share their memberships with up to 11 people. By subscribing, you will literally be buying war bonds in the info war to expand our operation in the face of the tyrants. Join us at PrisonPlanet.tv. Coast to coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. Leading a frontal assault on the lies of the New World Order, it's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight. Now, Alex is going to be joining us in the next hour to talk about what I've been just begun to talk about, and that is the dumping of illegal aliens into the United States by the Obama administration. That's essentially what's happening. Now, there was an article on Fox News about Governor Jan Brewer, governor of Arizona's reaction to the fact that so many illegal children, illegal alien children are being brought to her state just this weekend, a thousand are expected to be brought from Texas to her state. But why are they coming in? Well, they're coming in because they're being told in Central and South America, take your children to the United States, they won't refuse you. And so these parents are bringing their children in and essentially abandoning many of them. A very dangerous situation for them. And before people say that we're racist or xenophobic, I want to point out that this is something they've been doing to the third world for a very long time. This is something that the World Bank and the IMF fund, uh, the World Bank under Robert McNamara basically was imploding the economies of Central and South America. Much of the third world is under his uh, oversight of the World Bank. What they did was they shifted from loaning money to companies right after uh, countries right after World War II to build their infrastructure. They switched to a situation where they were encouraging, encouraging them to create a welfare state. Essentially, consumerism money that they couldn't pay back. If they were going to build up an infrastructure, if they were going to uh, build roads and factories, presumably that could build up their economy and they might be able to pay back those debts. But the IMF was accused of rent seeking. In other words, trying to make these people debtors to them. They were increasing their indebtedness by up to 20% each year in the third world countries. So how did that look? What well, we talked about on Friday, what was going on in Venezuela, for example, the socialist people's paradise. And of course, if you want to bankrupt a country using a welfare system, no better way to do it than with a socialist like Chavez. Now, Hugo Chavez, Bloomberg likes to point out, kept up payments to bondholders, allowing them to reap returns of 692% during his 14-year tenure. You get that? 
This is Bloomberg.com bragging about the fact that this communist, Hugo Chavez, who you would think might be somebody that these capitalists wouldn't like, they love him. Why? Because he works with them. Because they got 700% profits. 700% profits. Now, it's not much better after he left. His successor now is in debt to these banks. And what's happening? Well, his people are going without drinking water, drinking water and medicine. They're having to go to other countries in order to get water, in order to get medicine. Why? Because, as they point out, this is a quote from Barclays, the government's priority is to pay their sovereign debt. In other words, this socialist government is going to pay off the bankers' loans before their people get water or medicine. That's the way that it works. You think that socialism is the opposite of this kind of crony capitalism, this kind of fascist capitalism that we're seeing here in America? No, it's the way that they roll that out. And we see that happening in Venezuela. We see it happening throughout Central America. So these poor people who are now coming to America because the bankers have imploded their country, they're now coming in and thinking that they're going to be able to get a free ride here. Well, you know what? As you, you can have, just like they say, you know, good, fast, and cheap, pick any two. Well, sometimes you can't even get two of those. Sometimes you can't even get one of those. You cannot have a welfare state and open borders. You can't have it. Even if you think that you can run a welfare state, as Margaret Thatcher pointed out, eventually you run out of other people's money. Or eventually what happens is the bankers loan you the money and bankrupt your country as they make 700% return on their investment as they did in Venezuela, working with the, the guy who's defending the people, the guy who was on the people's side against the big corporations. Yeah, right, right paying those big corporations 700% return on their investment. So you can't have, though, you can't have a welfare state and open borders. At best, you could pick one, but you can't have both. This is a deliberate policy to destroy the United States, and people understand that. Many people understand it. Governor Brewer understands it from Arizona. As I said before, 1,000 illegal immigrant children will be dumped in Arizona. Of course, they're coming from Texas. They shouldn't be here in Texas. She said, this is a crisis of the federal government's creation, and the fact that the border remains unsecure, now apparently intentionally, intentionally, while this operation continues full steam ahead, is deplorable. She said she was informed by federal officials that not only has the government been shipping these illegal immigrants out of Texas and into Arizona, but it has no plans to stop. See, it's an arrogant, in-your-face takedown of our country. It's not something that's going to help these children either. But, but before I get into that aspect of it, let me give you an idea of the magnitude of it. Now, this is a memo that was leaked, a four-page memo by the Deputy Border Patrol Chief, dated May 30th, that contradicts the Obama administration's assertion that the border is secure enough so that they can now start legalizing current illegal aliens in the United States. Now, according to this memo from the Deputy Border Patrol Chief, he says that, the, he estimates that agents, officers, and others will apprehend more than 90,000 unaccompanied children on the border this year, rising to 142,000 next year. Last year, there were 40,000. So they're looking at this roughly tripling in two years. And they say, of course, chiefly they're coming from Guatemala, Honduras, El Salvador. They're usually fleeing horrendous poverty or gang violence. Now, where does the horrendous poverty come from? It comes from the fact that people like Venezuela and other Central American companies, countries have indebted themselves to these bankers. As I pointed out, 700% return on investment. Hugo Chavez gave to these bankers while their people starve in the kind of poverty that makes them try anything, including traveling across these dangerous areas and dumping their children in the United States in the vain hope that they're going to be better off here. It says they brave harsh conditions. In the case of the girls, they often face being raped during their journey through Mexico and across the U.S. border. Well, guess what? When they get into America, it's going to get even worse in many cases. A story breaking out of Virginia today on the dcclothesline.com. A Virginia congressman admits to the existence of child trafficking in Fairfax County, Virginia. Of course, 
That's right around the Washington, D.C. area, of course, and we know how many times there have been links with high government officials, not just the American government, but many governments with child uh, trafficking, child sex rings. In this particular article, he talks about a State Department employee with a security clearance, Monica West Weslowski, I think is how you pronounce the name. She had her child stolen by CPS. They never charged her or convicted her for any wrongdoing as a parent. But because she talked about it to the media, the Virginia Department of Family Services has called her now unstable to take revenge because she talked about them taking her child, even though they never, never charged her with anything, even though she's somebody that has security clearance from the State Department. So now they've said that she's unstable. They're placing her son, that, they, that she placed her son in danger by going to the media, so they're going to totally strip her of any visitation rights. Now, this person who's writing this article, this is uh, Dave Hodges, says, I have two former Virginia CPS workers who tell me that it's the goal of Virginia CPS to remove as many kids as possible and that evidence is fabricated. Papers are forged to this end. One of those sources is going public sometime in July. Prior investigations like those of the late Nancy Schaefer claim that children simply go missing from the care of various CPSs and that these children end up in child sex trafficking rings like the ones identified by Nick Bryant, the author of The Franklin Scandal. And then he points out that Wells Fargo Wachovia was caught in sex trafficking of children and paid $400 million in fines, but of course, nobody in that bank went to jail. And then of course, DynCorp, with ties to the Republicans, was also caught doing the same thing, and they paid a large fine, but again, nobody went to jail. We've been talking about this for a long time. Alex has talked about this over and over and over again. So it breaks my heart to see people bringing their children across, exposing them to these dangers, dumping them in the United States, just as I pointed out, like, like parents were doing at Hong Kong Disneyland when they couldn't get in, they just put their children over the fences. And here, have a good time. That's what they're doing. You can't do that. This is a very dangerous world. This is a very dangerous country. We've had over and over again, exposures of child sex trafficking. They also are going to become minions of the federal government. They're going to see the government as their savior, as their daddy. This has always been the dream of every tyrannical government, going back to Plato's Republic. He wanted to destroy the family. He wanted the children to see the government as their only family. What's going to happen with these children who have no family, no cultural connection, except to the government that they see as their benefactor? That is what Obama and the people who want to take this country down want. They want these children to see the government as their family, as their benefactor, as their protector, as their God. That's why they're doing this. We're going to break it out. There's more to this. Alexis Jones is going to be with us in the next segment. Stay tuned. chemical spill contaminating the water supply in nine West Virginia counties. This year alone, over 300,000 people in West Virginia had their drinking water contaminated. What are the health effects of having these drugs in our drinking water? It's forced medical treatment without the consent of residents. My friends, water filtration is one of the most basic actions you can take to protect you and your family from the harmful toxins and heavy metals in your tap water. On average, the county says it sprays with the glyphosate at least once a week. Few filters cut out the glyphosate that is found in water supplies worldwide. Remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, hydrofluorosilicic acid, sodium hexafluorosilicate. Fluoride it is in tea, it's in coffee, it's in water, it's in bread, it's in toothpaste. It is our responsibility to protect our families. The establishment's not going to do it. It's time to take action. It's time to filter our water. Visit InfoWarsStore.com and use promo code WATER to get 10% off their entire family of incredible products. Or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Hi, I'm Dr. Edward Group. It took me 20 years of searching the globe to find the deposit of the highest purity iodine available. The new Survival Shield X2 is mined from 7 to 10,000 feet below the earth in pristine, environmentally clean conditions. The iodine crystals we use are extracted from an ancient 300 million plus year old deposit deep in the earth. It's the strongest nascent iodine on the market today. It delivers 650 micrograms per drop. Experience the new formula. 
Experience the ancient purity. Shield your family. Survival Shield X2, available now at InfoWarsLife.com. X2 from InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139.